All right, guys. Today, these are the last videos for for um for the Home Depot reviews. These are the last ones I'm doing. But don't don't worry. I wish you'll be moving on to another store in a couple of days. This let's finish up with the remaining of this uh of this right here this is the home hall this is the home accent holiday eight foot giant size led jack-o-lantern stack these are a bunch of pumpkins giant foot jack-o-lantern stack offers a custom customizable scene Energy efficient LEDs are controllable by a built-in timer. Sturdy base allows flexible indoor-outdoor placement. The box is 96.3 inches tall, 25.2 inch, 25 inches wide. It's indoor and outdoor. It plugs in, it has a plug, stake, stake and stand, warm, white, light bulb color, 25 minutes to set up, and it was the collection of the graven bones. Create a Halloween fright pool. Create a Halloween fright with this eerie jack o' lantern stack. The durable pumpkins can be stacked on top one one another or set up separately for your perfect s spooky um, scene they feature LEDs on a timer for frights at night and it says durable construction allows reliable usability to terrify trick-or-treats years after years LED showcase the jack o' lantern faces faces for spooky illumination. Five jack o' lanterns allow allow independent placement or stacking for versatile setup. Attach jack o' lanterns in inner metal support to create a fearsome scene. Idea for indoor outdoor. They're all it's all eight foot high. Let's get a look at the instructions, shall we? put these out all over your yard here's all the safety stuff right here you get you get every piece you see here Two of these right here, they're like the ones from the 15 foot ghost. 15 foot ghost had these had these specific uh pieces right here. It was it was helping the base to get keep the prop together to the base. It was a stabilizer. And they all have di they're all different looks. Cool. Ah, it's a locking pin. Very, very easy to set up. Yeah. Not bad. Don't look too hard set up. And then they just lock together. They become flat. They're flat and they got these little turnbuckle locks inside. And you just keep building on and on after you connect one and keep building on and on. Not bad guys. You have these for maybe a maybe have it outside if you're doing a bunch of pumpkins. These would be interesting to have with the with these and then you have the interest then you have the pumpkin reaper or jack. Yeah, just interesting, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's not too bad, guys.
mais rodada. Yeah, that's just has different looks on there. You could do multiple things like this. Maybe there's a pumpkin stack of it. So they're outside and think they're about two feet tall. I think the first one's about yeah. They're just different size pumpkins. Eight feet tall. Put them all out in the yard. That would be cool to have this year. Doing like a little pumpkin lane or farm thing. And I have a bunch. I'd like to do a bunch of pumpkins with it. This is cool right here. Different looks. Let's get a look at the video, huh? A spot in this year's nasty doll. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad to see those open up like they did. That was nifty. And easy to set up in the box. Easy to put the box in there. Yeah, I I like these pumpkins. These things are pretty cool. I know I was having some minor video problems with the volume not being that loud enough. But yeah, I like these pumpkins. These are pretty cool. So on to the next one. Give me a few seconds.